Hey, what's going on guys, it's Alex here. Sorry it's been a minute since I've actually uploaded something, but I promise you I've just been really busy and life happened, so here I am, finally. And wedding season actually just started for me, so it's been it's been real. In the intro, you just saw some footage of me capturing that POV behind the scenes, right? And let me show you how I actually got that, in case you are curious. And it didn't cost me anything, well, within the last month it didn't cost me anything, but over time, I actually accumulated these things and I didn't realize that I could have done this this whole time and I was like when I finally discovered it I was like Poof, it, it was mind-blowing so without boring you let's just get right into it okay what you see right here is the rig that I take with me every single time I do a shoot this is my handheld rig I already made a video on this rig and I showed you step by step and everything that I used to complete this so if you want to go and check that out it's my FX rebuild in my social media feed so just an FYI so if you look right here this is where the ninja goes and then this is where the adapter is right down here but if you look at the end of the small rig handle as well, you also have a hot shoe mount right there. And you have another option right here. So there and there. So we all bought a new tripod at one point or another. And with those tripods comes a couple of accessories. But the one that I'm referring to would be the phone accessory, as you can see right here. We got two points of contact right here that we can screw into. It would be the top one right here. And then we have another one at the bottom, right here. Right there. So what I did is I got my quarter inch hot shoe mount right here and I screwed it on to the bottom one here. So obviously tighten that up. And I wanna make it even with where I'm mounting, right? which is that bottom one that I showed you. So I'm gonna mount this bad boy right in there. Make it snug. Cool, there. So the next thing that we need is a iPhone. Doesn't matter which one, okay? As long as it fits right in here. Gotta loosen this up. By the way, one of the tripods that I have is by Joby. Um, honestly, I don't really like it, but the accessory, flawless for my use, okay? So when I turn the camera, we're in the default view, which is one time zoom. But I wanna be ultra wide. So I'm gonna go like this. And now every single time I record something, the camera is picking up. Let me tell you, I, w I really wish I would've came up with something like this last year because with all the work that I had, this would've came in super handy. That way I would've been able to like, post up more content it's showing you guys behind the scenes of how i do things and you know i guess more so composition and showing you guys that everything that we don't capture but the reason why we capture it the way we do if that makes any sense anyway you understand what i'm saying so this is what i used to capture that pov behind the scenes footage that i that you saw in the intro and i promise you it really works so if you do have a small ring handle like i do and if you don't I'll go ahead and post that down there for you guys so that way you guys can pick up the one that I have. And this could honestly work with any kind of handle that does have a hot shoe mount at the end. So don't think that you're not, that you're limited. And I've seen videos where people have gotten like a adapter, it kind of looks like an L, right? And it swings up and then you capture it. But I don't want to waste any more money. And, I, and I'm trying to improvise and use what I have at my disposal already because that's the name of the game, right? And there is one flaw and it's the stupidest thing ever. And I'm only bringing this up because I want you guys to know what I experienced when I finally used this in the field the other day. And that one flaw is that you have to remind yourself to hit stop on the recording because other than that, you're gonna have like 10 minutes worth of footage, which is what I did. And it's cool because then you can just go back and then, you know, cut up the footage to to see what you wanna see. But that's pretty much the only flaw that I, that I got out of it. As you can see, there is enough space between your phone and your V-mount battery. So I hope that helps you guys out with some POV, especially if you shoot alone like I do. And if you have any other questions about this setup, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer your guys' questions. Thank you, I'll catch you in the next one.